It's always nice watching a movie you know nothing about and being pleasantly surprised. Words on the bathroom wall is definitely a good surprise. Let's get into it. Words in the Bathroom Wall is a 2020 drama directed by Thor Freudenthal. Words in the Bathroom Wall stars Charlie Plumham as our lead character, Adam. He is a young high school student who is suffering from schizophrenia. We have his a love interest in this movie who is played by Taylor Russell and she plays a character named Maya. We have Adam's mom who's played by Molly Parker and then Adam's mom's new boyfriend is played by Walter Goggins. And then the, the high school priest in the movie is played by Andy Garcia. Diagnosed with a mental illness during his senior year of high school, a witty, introspective teen struggles to keep a secret while falling in love with a brilliant classmate who inspires him to open his heart and not be defined by his condition. The story starts out with our main character starting to hear voices. He ends up having a psychotic break in chemistry class and hurts one of his fellow students. Um, they they take him to doctors and it's determined that he has he gets he gets diagnosed with being schizophrenic. Um, he ends up getting kicked out of school because of this, and his mom gets him placed in a new school, on the condition that he has to stay on this trial medication, and also he has to have a really high GPA. Um, he really his dream in life is to go to culinary school and kind of work at this restaurant. And he wants to go to, he wants to be, go to school for cooking. Um, that's his big dream. So him getting into this other school and him graduating, that's his second chance of making this dream come true. Um, he starts a new school, but he's having a really hard time concentrating. One, he hears, he has many different voices in his head. Um, each voice is played by kind of like a, is a different character. Um, we have one voice that's kind of like a hippie voice. One that's like a best friend that kind of says outrageous thoughts. One that's more like a bodyguard voice. So with all these voices in his head, his grades start to suffer. So he ends up getting a tutor named Maya and immediately him and Maya, you can tell that they're interested in each other. They definitely have a chemistry and they start to get to know each other. At first, everything at the new school is going well. The new medications actually starting to work and it seems like Adam is finally, he could be cured um, of the voices. But the medication in turn starts to have some bad side effects on him and it seems like the closer him and Maya get, the more his, the rest of his life the, is starting to unravel and then till eventually it all unravel. What did I like about this movie? One, I would say the cast. Um, I think Charlie Plummer did an amazing job in this role. He was really believable. I think his acting was just really, really good and really strong scenes. And a lot of the movie is him pretending that everything's okay. Um, but you can see, he just really sold me you could see the pain that he was in, and I feel like he really sold that. Um, so I just think he did a killer job in his performance, and there's definitely some really, really emotional scenes, and I feel like he did an amazing job. Also, as far as Taylor Russell goes, I really liked her performance as well. I really liked her, one, her character, and then I loved her relationship with um, Charlie in the movie with Adam. So Maya and Adam, I really enjoyed their performances together. You can tell that they had a chemistry together and they were just super cute. Um, so even though this is more like a drama, there's definitely a love story there and I really enjoyed them getting to know each other. There's actually one of the scenes they go to, um, kind of like on a date to the movie Never Been Kissed. And I absolutely love that scene. I thought that scene was super cute and I just really liked the way that, the whole scene, really, I love that. Um, another thing I think this movie does a really good job at is putting yourself in the shoes of someone who's schizophrenic, really making you feel what they go through. Um, it just, yeah, I, I think they did a really, really good job about as far as that goes. Just seeing how the way people treat you when you're diagnosed with being schizophrenic, like um, the the stepdad in the movie hides all the knives and they only have plastic knives. So little stuff like that, you see how people treat you different. 
um, even after he had Adam had his first psychotic break, how everyone turned on him and started calling him crazy. Um, it was just kind of really, really heartbreaking how they treat you. One of my favorite lines in the movie is Adam's talking about pretty much when like you start find there's a kid who has is terminally ill due to cancer. They're gonna die because of cancer. The world bends over backwards to make their wish come true, but then. A kid who gets diagnosed with schizophrenia or is schizophrenic, it's like no one wants to deal with them. They just want to push him off to the next person. And that is why you see so many schizophrenic people go homeless. And that's so true. Also, I, one thing I think this movie does a really good job of is on the outside, when you hear someone who has mental illness or has schizophrenic, you kind of wonder, if medication makes you feel better or makes you better, why not? Why do people stop taking it? Um, from so from the outside looking in, it's very easy to say that. But this movie does a really good job of showing you why people stop taking medication because a lot of times the medication really makes you feel ill and the side effects of that medication. Um, so I think it just makes it show, it just shows what people who are schizophrenic go through on all these different medications or trying these medications out and seeing the side effects. Um, so it's not as, as simple as maybe someone from the outside thinks looking in. Um, also, overall, I like the, the message of the movie as well. Um, the movie really is about, you see Adam denying who he is for so long, mainly for the whole movie. He's hiding who he is. And this movie, and this is one thing where I like about the priest in the movie, um, Andy Garcia. He kind of helps Adam and kind of listens to Adam and it's kind of directs Adam as far as, and Adam kind of comes to this on his own, in order for you to find happiness, you got to accept all your flaws. Um, you can't run away from who you are. It's who you are. So even though you see Adam denying who he is for so long, but he's really not going to be happy until he accepts who he is with flaws and all. So, and I think that's very true. You got to accept yourself for in flaws or all um, in order to be happy. So what didn't I like about this movie? Um, I would say what I didn't like about this movie, and granted, I, I want to say first start out is I love this movie, but there was a couple things that I think maybe the movie could have did better. Um, one being, I don't know how realistic this movie was. Um, you see these different characters, Adams has these different voices in his head, um, and they're played kind of like by each different character. Um, and I just don't know how realistic that is. I know people who are schizophrenic do hear voices, but I don't know if it's the way the movie portrayed it. Um, and also some of these characters in the movie, it just seemed really unrealistic. Um, like you had this one character that had a bat. Anytime someone did anything or said anything that Adam didn't like, there was this character who had a bat that only Adam could see and the characters like threatening to hit the other person. Um, so just stuff like that, it just seemed a little unrealistic. Um, I did like the other character, the voices he th that those characters played, um, but I think maybe a little bit less of them could have helped. Um, also, I don't know how, like I said, how realistic some of this stuff is. And just in real life, I don't know. I just, he struggled through so much in the movie that everything towards the end it's like you get your happy ending or it's like everything starts to work out for him and i not that saying that can't happen but it's a little bit it's not necessarily realistic it, life doesn't always work that way um but i will say i love romantic comedies and i go to romantic romantic comedies because i want a happy ending where this movie is not a romantic comedy but in a way it is um, it's definitely a drama, but there's a love story there and it's kind of like that kind of, you want them to get together. You know what I mean? You're, you're rooting for them. Um, but I just don't know how realistic that is. Um, sometimes even though I, while I like a happy ending, sometimes realistic endings, I like a little bit more just because they're more relatable when two characters don't get together that is sometimes more relatable or that's more relatable in life than, you know, care. A lot of times it doesn't work out with people and that's more relatable than the happy ending. Um, 
So that would be one of my negatives, but oh, like I said, I love a happy ending. So I am very overall happy with the movie. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on the um, on this movie. And I definitely highly recommend this movie. It was really, really good and a pleasant surprise. So if you get a chance, please go check this out. And if you've seen it or you're planning to see it, please comment on this video. Tell me what you think about it. Um, did you enjoy it? Um, are you planning to see it? And also, if you like the channel, please subscribe and feel free to like this video as well. Um, yeah, it's been an exciting making all these videos and I'm really enjoying this. So if you are having fun and you're enjoying it too, um, please hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching.